We start off with bread. Like I said, we eat a lot of bread. Uh, it's almost like an everyday thing, probably. Here's just a standard breakfast, scrambled eggs, bacon, biscuits. And then I decided to have like a baking day. I made blueberry muffins. They actually turned out really good. And cookies. And these ones I made like really flat. I like them this way, but the other people in my household, not so much. And then I made some chocolate zucchini bread using um, zucchini and yellow squash from our garden from maybe last year. I had it frozen and I just chopped it all up in the blender works the best way. And then uh, that's actually molasses with the white sugar instead of brown sugar. That's what I've been doing. I learned that here on YouTube. And there's, it turns out like a chocolate cake, honestly. So this was either a breakfast or a snack. Um, that we, we had them for the rest of the week to eat. Here is venison with sweet potato, just kind of like a pot roast in the crock pot meal. This was a breakfast I made of it's tomatoes and um, onions and garlic with a fried egg and my kids ate waffles instead. And cinnamon rolls, you're gonna be seeing these again. I really like sourdough cinnamon rolls. So I've been getting the kids to help um, with cleaning and also with cooking um, as much as possible. So actually the dinner that we're having here, it was helped, my seven-year-old helped me make it. So these were yeast rolls. He wanted to make tuna casserole. It's one of their favorites. We had tuna casserole and peas and carrots and yeast rolls and everybody was happy. And I, it's nice to have everybody like the food. <laughs> So breakfast time, I'm down in our cellar looking for some jelly. This is some mulberry jelly that I canned up last year from our mulberry trees. I like it a lot. I'm making a giant pancake in the oven. It's just easy that way. And then I could just slice it up. So we had the giant pancake and jelly. I ate mulberry jelly and the kids wanted strawberry jelly. Here's a dinner. This is a confused dinner. It started off to be like Mexican inspired. I have like a corn, I don't even know, dip type thing with beans and rice. And my husband made chicken on the grill cause he had bought some for some reason. And then, and then we had yeast rolls. Another day, another egg. We eat a lot of eggs and cookies. These are not the same batch. See, there's a whole nother batch of cookies that we are eating and dough. So this was, for baguettes. It's the first time we ever did it. And actually my youngest, my three-year-old helped me with these. And so we called them Taggettes because his name is Tad. And here's dinner was gifted to us from my husband's aunt. She gave us some uh, spaghetti sauce. So here are the baguettes coming out. They actually turned out really good. Um, the kids and I ate them normal ways. And then I saved one to make as garlic bread or when my husband got home from work because he really likes that. So here was the dinner, it was just spaghetti with the gifted spaghetti sauce and the taggettes. And it was just, you know, a good meal. Here's the actual uh, garlic bread that I made. And breakfast, bacon, egg and cheese and oatmeal, kind of a strange mix and fruit. My kids would eat bacon, egg, and cheeses every day if they could. And more bread. That was actually a jalapeno cheese bread. And then I made some almond milk for baking. And here we have, the recipe said Mongolian beef, but it's venison because that's what we have. And with rice, and it actually tastes really good. This is my kind of breakfast. Uh, biscotti and coffee. That's, that's all I want. <laughs> This is like first breakfast, your second breakfast. Those bacon, egg and cheeses for the kids. <sighs> Pizza, this has been wonderful. And then we have leftover baguettes for French toast. My breakfast, that's all I want, I just want coffee. And then we missed a dinner somewhere because here we are at breakfast again with sausages from the store. I wanna buy local, um, but it is what it is and oatmeal. So oatmeal and um, fruit and sausages. And actually my oldest helped me make this meal. And then they said they 
could not do schoolwork without some hot cocoa. So we made hot cocoa and everybody, it was a big hit. They even said it was better than Walmart hot cocoa. Such high praise. And dinner, we got rice. We got the crock pot going, I use that crock pot a lot. It's a pepper steak with, of course, venison. And my youngest asked for mashed potatoes. And for dinner, or dessert, we had a heart cake. And what is this dough for? Hmm, more cinnamon rolls. I really like cinnamon rolls. And more bread. Goodness, we eat a lot of bread. And we were having venison stew with carrots from our garden, which is good, and potatoes and onions and peas, and it was really good. At least I thought so. And with the nice warm bread. Breakfast means eggs. We eat a lot of eggs because we have chickens. And we cook with bacon grease because it's here. So we made some breakfast potatoes and scrambled eggs. Some Half of the people here like scrambled eggs, half of the people like fried eggs. I'm pretty much a short order cook in the morning, <laughs> but um, it always makes everyone happy. And my breakfast, that's all I want, just coffee. My mom gave us these butternut squashes from her garden. They were kind of getting on their last legs. So I decided to take them and cook them up and use them in this recipe for pumpkin bread, but in just substituting the butternut squash for the pumpkin. So we called it butternut bread. This is what it looks like before it went in, and when it came out, and it was so good, like really good. And easy dinner. We got some noodles. I have some um, ground venison and some uh, sauce that I canned up last year from her garden. I'm just doing onions and garlic and oregano from our garden. I need to make sure I preserve a lot more herbs this year so that I can just dump them into everything I make. That, that would be wonderful. And the sauce that I made and canned up. And we just basically made this really easy one pot kind of meal with bread, of course, and salad. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. That seems like a decent amount of um, food and there is more, but I might just make this something that kind of continues on. So I don't know if this was helpful, but it's kind of documenting stuff for me and hopefully eventually I'll look back on my journey and see how far I've come. Uh, that would be the hope. So that's it. <laughs>